We're now talking with Secretary Designee Preston Cole of the DNR about chronic wasting disease, a big problem here. There are 56 counties affected by this. What is the DNR's approach to the problem right now? As I walked around for my confirmation sessions with senators and legislatures, key individuals in the legislature, I was tasked by those individuals just to see the myriad of opinions about chronic wasting disease. And where I settled is, there are lots of opinions about chronic wasting disease and the path that the state of Wisconsin should take. So I am doing the requisite research as to what has occurred on the landscape relative to the deer herd since 2002 when it was first identified. That research is pulling me in the directions of one, we need to talk to folks around the Great Lakes and other states to see what they're doing. Because quite frankly, um, chronic wasting disease may be some of the epicenter for other chronic wasting disease that moves around the Great Lakes region. So we are actively talking to those researchers in other states. Two, we have to spend time on the landscape to provide hunters quick tests. We know that the state of Michigan and others are doing the requisite research on quick tests. The current concern from legislators are we're spending money and we may not know where we're going. So, uh, Secretary, we'd like for you to do a requisite investigation. And what we get when other states are spending research dollars to come up with that quick test, those tests traditionally take 12 to 15 days. We're looking for something in 24 hours or 48 hours to tell us because it's driving hunters away from the sport. If we get that quick test, our hunters will be able to use it. And what do we get financially? We don't have to spend $5 million. So we are challenging ourselves to see where the research is going in the, not only in Wisconsin, but where the research is in other parts of the Great Lakes region so we can be thoughtful about how we leverage our funds against other states. The fact that this has been going on now, you said 2002, for 17 years, is it too late for our deer population or is there a solution? Well, there's no magic bullet. And there are states west of us that have had uh, chronic wasting disease in their herd since 1981 and probably sooner. But our responsibility is to do the requisite research, provide kiosks and dumpsters where folks can provide those carcasses to us so that we know where chronic wasting disease is and where it's not. The important part of chronic wasting disease from a research perspective and from the management perspective is where is it and where it's not. And then we have to draw a line as to what do we do, whether it's protecting other counties or how we uh, implement new rules associated with carcass movements. Uh, all of that is in play, but you're right, CARC, uh, CWD has been on the landscape for some time. And so we are doing the requisite research, the operational and the technological advancements to help slow it down. You mentioned whether we like it or not, money is always an issue when you try to solve problems. Mm -hmm. Do you need more money for this? Well, we're going to leverage what we do have from the state of Wisconsin, again, in terms of research from the other states. We have $1.1 million for the upcoming year. The biennium has about $5.2 million associated with chronic wasting disease so that we can put new operations in play, new structures in play, put more, land, uh, more kiosk on the landscape as well as dumpsters, and do the requisite research we're merely following the Congressman Kynes bill. Regions should talk to each other about chronic wasting disease because it is, doesn't follow uh, governmental lines. Chronic wasting disease is something that we all have to deal with in the Great Lakes and I am hell bent on making sure that the DNR is at the forefront of leading that charge. So once you have the research, you might have a better grasp in terms of how much funding this would need. You nailed it, it's because it's gonna be driven by science. And the game farms, we have to bring that up, fairly concentrated with deer populations. Some have been depopulated, basically the deer killed off. I mean, should these places be allowed to continue to operate? Well, the Department of Agriculture and uh, Consumer Protection is responsible for managing cervid deer farms. Survey deer farms prevent a challenge on the landscape. Uh, the Department of Natural Resources is working collaboratively with the Department of Agriculture to develop strategies on um, you know, these types of game farms. We know that those owners are worried that if there's a positive, that means it's gonna be depopulated and their livelihood may come to an end. 
So we have to be very thoughtful about the approaches that we take around cervid deer parms. But here's what we do know. Chronic wasting disease emanates from these types of properties around the state and around the region. So we want to make sure that they have seats at the table and are part of the solution about what we go, what that go forward strategy looks like. When it comes to economic development and the DNR, we have to talk about Foxconn and the water diversion. So a judge ruled to allow 7 million gallons of water per day to go from Lake Michigan to Foxconn, and then that water would be returned to Lake Michigan, as you know. Some environmental groups still aren't happy about this, and I understand the DNR is okay with it, right? Well, the DNR wrote the definitive um, uh, confirmation that the application met all requisite state and federal laws around water diversions. And the state of Wisconsin has seen these diversions once before. So we follow the law. This water comes into Racine and will go to the city of Mount Pleasant. And the city of Racine already sends water to Mount Pleasant. And so Foxconn doesn't get a pass on environmental protections. They still have to be accountable for uh, environmental quality. But the law says these types of applications are allowable and we allow folks to scrutinize that application and because we're accountable. There are well over 800 individuals that weighed in on that application. We understand that there are those who are for it and those that have, who may be against it. The, quite frankly, it's the law. We are following the law, as I said, and we're following the science. Okay, Preston Cole, the Secretary-Designee of the DNR, thank you. Thank you.